Trevor. It's smelling good here in the Acadiana Eats kitchen this morning. I hope Acadiana, I wish you could smell it through the TV, but we'll <laughs> smell it for you, right? This morning I have Thomas with the Greater Iberia Chamber of Commerce with me. I have Michelle with Savoy. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. Now that I'm smelling this gumbo. <laughs> so before we start talking about the real deal here this morning, we have this gumbo. Talk to me about what you're doing right now. I'm actually just stirring it right now. We have a delicious Savoy's gumbo. It's made with mm -hmm. our roux, our products, our andouille, our sausage, and we just love gumbo. I mean, for those around here that know the name Savoy's, it's it's all about gumbo. Yeah, and speaking about all about gumbo and Savoy's and it's uh, gumbo season here, we're mm -hmm. talking about the World Championship Gumbo Cook-Off yes. in New Iberia coming up yes, really like soon. Saturday, October 14th and 15th. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday is the great the Cajun Creole Food Fest, lots of Cajun foods. Bands both days start at 10. Saturday they'll end at, at 7.30, as, as 3.30 on, sun 3 on Sunday. Lots of great opportunities. Come mm -hmm. down. Uh, you will not find a better bowl of gumbo in the world right. than in downtown New Iberia. I mean, and then you have up next Sunday. several options, right? Because yes. we have the World Championship Cook-Off. So we're really going to be seeing who makes the best gumbo. Yes. I mean, talk to me about that, the sure, championship. Sure, there's three different categories. We have chicken and sausage, which is the most popular. Most of them do that. Then there's seafood. And then we have a category called melange. Anything that's not chicken or sausage or seafood. Oh. So if you have ra rabbit, duck. What? Anything else that you put okra, anything you put in a gumbo that's not chicken or sausage or seafood is going to be in a melange category. I didn't know they do that. That's I didn't how know we do that it. was a thing. That's I mean, here in Acadiana, it. we make yeah. anything a thing, right? That's absolutely right. <laughs> and Michelle, you all, Savos, uh, you, you all are sponsoring the cook off. We are. Talk to me about the, the importance and the honor it is to just be able to sponsor an event like this. Well, Savos has been around since 1955, and it started with Miss Eula Savoy, and she is basically an amazing woman that had a boucherie in her yard and decided to use every part of the hog and since then she has developed a name brand product it's a family-owned company woman-owned it has been passed on actually it's in the third generation technically wow. and Miss Donna Savoy is running it right now and she's doing an amazing job to just get it out there to know this name as a family name um, around here in our culture we just love family we love to eat we love to gather around the table as you can see and eat some gumbo some delicious food and Savoy is just honored because this cook-off is all about bringing family and friends together, and that's what we love to do. Thomas, which brings me to my next question. If people may not want to participate in the championship in the cook-off, why should they just show up to the event in general? Because it supports the Great Iberia Chamber of Commerce. It supports the things we do for our chamber members in the business community. It helps improve the economy, the business community. But again, it's about, you know, it's not a ticket event to come to. You can come and listen to music. No ice chests or pets. Okay. The only tickets you'd have to buy on those two days is for whatever food or drink you want. 73 different cooking teams, oh. probably about 90 gumbos. It's going to be the best place to be on Saturday and Sunday, October 14 and 15. I don't know who's making me more hungry, <laughs> you or Michelle. I mean, but either way, I'll, I'll get my fix in a few Let's because later in the show, Sylvia and I are probably going to be able to taste some of this good gumbo cooking in the Acadia Eats kitchen. We're going to be right back with Michelle and Thomas. 